Let's look at the causes of leaves dropping and how we can help our plants. Overwatering. This is the most common cause for leaves dropping, especially if you see that the leaves are yellowing before they drop. So in order to make sure whether you're overwatering or not, you can check for example how often you are watering your plant. Remember, generally plants really like when we let the soil dry in between watering. So are you letting the soil dry in between waterings? The way to check is with your finger. You can stick your finger inside the soil and if it feels moist, don't water. Once it feels dry and you don't see any moist soil on your finger, you can water. Of course, always learn the specific requirements for your plant. It is true that generally plants prefer the soil to dry out in between waterings. However, this may be different with some plants. Some plants like the alocasia, the calasia, or some ferns prefer that we keep the soil moist at all times. So we want to let it dry a little bit, but not completely. Whereas with many succulents, we want the soil to really dry completely before we water again. So always check specific requirements. Another reason why you may be overwatering your plant is because the pot is too big. If you have your plant in a very big pot, she will not be able to absorb all of the water in the pot and hence we will overwater her. This usually happens when we repot our plants. Remember, when you repot your plant, you want the newer pot to be one to two sizes bigger than the older pot, but not bigger than that. That way you make sure that the pot is not too big for her and it doesn't retain too much water. Another possible reason for plants to lose their leaves is that they're not getting enough sunlight. Some plants really need bright sunlight. Whether it's direct bright sunlight or indirect bright sunlight, if we don't provide the required light for our plants, they may lose leaves. This is especially if your plant looks long, thin and leggy and if the leaves are really small. Another very good sign that your plant is lacking sunlight is if you see that the plant is growing too towards the light. This is especially common with succulents, but it can also happen with tropical plants. So if this is the case for you, try to bring your plant to a brighter spot. If you're watching this video in the winter and you live in a region that doesn't get so much sunlight this month, you can also bring her closer to a grow light. That way you will make sure that your plant gets the required sunlight. One interesting fact I can give you is that one plant that really struggles with this is the Ficus benjamina. We actually had this problem last winter with her. She lost all of her leaves and I didn't know why. And after doing the research for this video, I found out that this was the problem. She was not getting enough light. So if you have a Ficus benjamina, make sure that she gets bright indirect sunlight and that way she should keep her leaves. <laughs> Another possible reason for your plant to lose leaves is low temperatures. Most houseplants that we get at home come from tropical warmer regions in the world and therefore they will like warmer temperatures. So if you have a plant closer to a window that has cold drafts or in a colder spot at your place, this may be a reason why she is losing her leaves. So for plants that require a warmer temperature, make sure that you keep them at a stable temperature that is warm. That way they will be healthy and thrive. Okay, as I said before, it is very important that you understand the specific requirements of your plant. If you learn these, you will know which of these factors is affecting the leaves. And if there is other factor affecting your plant, make sure to comment below. I can tell you the whole community will appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next one.